evening. I will call to order the Orange Southwest Unified School District Annual Meeting. My name is Peter Nowlin. I'm the moderator of the school district, and I will invite everyone to join me in a Pledge of Allegiance to begin the meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I will ask each of you to join me in just a moment of silence so we can reflect upon the need for civil meetings in good government. Thank you. And unless there is an objection from anyone at the meeting, I will dispense of the reading of the entire warning, and I will simply read each article as it comes up. As a if, uh, as a preface to reading the uh, warning, I will tell everybody that the meeting tonight is only for articles to be taken up by the floor. Am I doing okay? Uh, that articles to be uh, voted on by Australian ballot, which are articles 7 through 11 on the warning, will be voted on in the town where you are registered to vote. If you are registered to vote in the town of Braintree, it will be at the town hall. O polls will be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you are registered to vote in the town of Brookfield, the voting will be at the elementary school, and the polls will be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you are registered to vote in the town of Randolph, the polls will be, uh, will be at the town hall and will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. With that being said, I am going to begin reading the articles for the items to be taken up by the floor, and we'll take one up as I read them. Article number one, to elect a moderator for a one-year term beginning July 1, 2024. The current moderator is me, Peter Nowlin, and I will not be a candidate for re-election. What is the pleasure of the meeting? Lane. I want to first thank you for your years of service, um, that I nominate Kelly Green. Thank you. Kelly Green has been nominated. Is there a second? I'll second. Been seconded. Are there any other nominations? Hearing and seeing none, I'm going to hold that nominations are closed. All in favor of electing Kelly Green as moderator of the school district for the be term beginning July 1, 2024, please signify by saying aye. 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 Contrary mind, state nay. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. And Kelly Green is elected. Article number two, to elect a clerk for one year for a one-year term beginning July 1, 2024. The current clerk is Linda Lubold. Are there any nominations? Lane. I nominate Linda Lubold. Is there a second? I second. Are there any other nominations? Hearing and seeing none, I state that nominations are closed. All in favor of electing Linda Lubold for a term of one year as clerk for a term of one year, beginning July 1, 2024, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any contrary-minded state nay? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. Congratulations, Linda. Article number three, to elect a school district treasurer for one year term, beginning July 1, 2024, and this current school district treasurer is Linda. What is the pleasure of the meeting? Lane. I nominate Linda Lubold. Is there a second? Second. Are there any other nominations? Then I declare nominations closed. All in favor of Linda Lubold for a school district treasurer for a term of one year, 
beginning on July 1, 2024, signify by saying aye. aye. The ayes appear to have it. I'm sorry. Contrary minded, please state nay. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. Linda is elected. Article number four, to fill any vacancies existing or occurring on March 4, 2024. The moderator is not aware of any. There are no va vacancies. We'll pass over Article 4 to Article 5. To hear and act upon the recommendations contained in the reports of the officers of the school district. The reports of the officers of the school district are contained in this booklet, the town report, and I will take them up in the order they appear in the book. The report from the school board, which is on page three. Are there any questions or comments with regard to this report to the school of the school board? Uh, it's the report from the school board as it's entitled in the book. No comments? No questions? All in favor of accepting the report as published, please signify by saying aye. Aye. The report is accepted. The report of the superintendent, which is entitled superintendent's letter, is contained on page four of the booklet. And the superintendent is in front of us. Who's got questions for him? Who's got comments for him? Hearing none, seeing none, I would, would invite you, uh, I'll ask if you will report, we will accept the report as published. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That report is accepted. Beginning on page eight, and going through page 11 are the reports of the elementary schools. Are there any questions or comments with regard to the report of the Braintree School on page eight? The Brookfield School on page nine. The Randolph Elementary on page 11. Are there any comments of the report as a whole? Any questions? Then I would invite the report to be accepted as published. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any contrary minded state nay. The report of the elementary schools is accepted as published. The report of Randolph Union High School begins on page 12 of the booklet. It's 12 and 13. Any questions or comments with regard to the report of the Randolph Union High School? Will, you, will the meeting accept the report as published? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, say nay. The report is accepted as published. The report of the Randolph Technical Career Center, which is found on pages 14 and 15. Are there any questions or comments with regard to that report? Hearing and seeing none. Do you accept the report as published? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, state nay. That report is accepted as published. Article six, to see whether the school district will authorize the school board to borrow money pending receipt of payments from the member towns by the issuance of notes or orders payable not later than one year from the date hereof. What is the pleasure of the meeting? I'll make a motion to... Uh... The motion has been made to, to authorize the school board to borrow money. Has that been seconded? I'll second. Are there any comments on the motion? Just so folks are aware, this is the arbitrage that happens every year. This is because we don't get tax payments um, from the towns until after we have to start paying bills. Um, and that's true of pretty much every district in the state. 
When I was a young man serving in the select board in the early 1980s, there was a contemporary on the board with me named Robert Simpson. And he said every year, arbitrage is not illegal, but it's immoral. <laughs> that was his thought. OK. Have we called for a vote? All in favor of uh, authorizing the school board to borrow money? Pending receipt of taxes, the issuance of uh, payments from the member towns, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, say nay. The motion carries. Articles 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 are to be voted on by Australian ballot on Tuesday, March 5, which is tomorrow, at the polls in the respective town in which you're re registered to vote. I remind you once again, Braintree voters vote at the Town Hall in Braintree from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Brookfield voters vote at the Brookfield Elementary School from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Randolph voters vote at the Randolph Town Hall. The polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I will now invite the meeting to bring any other business forth, if it has any. The uh, budget is published on pages 24 and 25, a summary of the budget. It's, uh, it's time to put Lane on the hot seat if we want. So we've actually, on the school side, in terms of the budget, we have actually increased spending for the last three years, but our revenues have exceeded our spending for the last three years. So on the school side, um, two years ago, we were asking for seven cents less per $100 of assessed value. One year ago, we were asking for seven cents less per $100 of assessed value. And for next year, we are asking for 14.9 cents less per $100 of assessed value on the school side. So again, our revenues have been growing much faster than uh, the additional spending that we've been doing. Um, folks can expect a moderate increase, um, not because of the schools, but because of the increase in property values across the state for the common level of appraisal. Uh, probably depending upon the town, uh, anywhere from $188 per annum to $340 per annum, depending upon the town. Uh, but again, that is due to the CLA, which is beyond our control, the rise in property taxes, and a little bit due to how the state reset the education funding with Act 127. If I'm understanding just the public news, they're talking about setting a higher level this year, which is yeah. the state tax. Yeah. 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 So compared, compared to uh, the state as a whole, we are doing very, very well. Um, the governor was predicting anywhere from 18.5 to a 20% increase. Our increases, depending upon the town, actually, I think I got them right here. Um, and again, due to the CLAs, were Braintree is 8.7, Brookfield um, got the biggest hit, was 12.2, and Randolph is 4.8. Okay. Tax rate. So much below what the state was predicting for the majority of the state. Any other business to come before the meeting? Any other questions for Lane? I would just like to, on the record, publicly thank Lane for his service to our district and wish him well in his uh, next position. Thank you. And I will join you in that. Thank you, Lane. Hearing nothing else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Motion's been made. Is there a second? I'll second. It's a non-debatable motion. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. We stand adjourned. <laughs>